Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. We knew it would just be a matter of time before Biden would implement gun control. He said it when campaigning. He has constantly said it his entire career at the Senate. And we knew once he was president that this would be a major topic. And it finally happened today with executive orders. Now, he also nominated David Chipman as the head of the ATF. He actually referred to the ATF on several occasions as the AFT. I'm telling you, this guy is not all there. The AFT. But Chipman is a gun controllist. Now, he does have a long history with the ATF. I don't think it was a great history, but he is a gun controllist. He sits on the board of every town for gun safety. He ranks very high with the gun control groups. Gun controllists love David Chipman, and this guy is going to run the ATF. But what did Biden do today? He announced several orders for the Department of Justice to look into. The first one was eliminating what they deem as ghost guns. These are unserialized receivers that could be purchased with a parts kit where the owner could assemble the parts kit onto the receiver. And Biden called the gun crisis an epidemic, said it's a national embarrassment that we, we have these things. And he says that these get into the hands of the wrong people. Now, I don't know anybody who wants guns in the hands of killers, murderers, rapists, carjackers. Like Nobody wants that. But where is the evidence? We have to understand one thing. Criminals are lazy. They enjoy doing their criminal activity, but they are lazy. I don't see a criminal ordering a parts kit and taking the time to install it on an unserialized receiver, drill out parts and all that. When you could, I guarantee I could drive 20 minutes away right now and with 150 bucks in my pocket, leave that area with a stolen firearm. That's how they get their guns. By far, criminals use stolen guns. And in many cases, they purchase their guns legally and yes, with a background check. So they're going after these Ghost guns is what they call it. They, they love that term. It makes it sound like anybody could just go get a gun and put it together and, hey, do whatever they want. That's simply not the case. There's very little evidence, if any at all. I haven't heard of any evidence that these guns get into the hands of killers and terrorists. It's, it's, it's nothing more than a power grab. Secondly, he wants the Department of Justice to make a ruling on pistol stabilizing braces. He says the stabilizing brace allows the shooter to fire their shots more accurately. Now, we just went over this a couple months ago and we all wrote to the ATF when they asked for responses and the ATF head at the time said that pistol stabilizing braces by far are being used in proper legal manners with law-abiding citizens. Basically, the way I read that is that he said there's not a problem. There's not a problem with pistol braces. It's called a stabilizing brace. It helps shooters stabilize their shot so they make a more accurate shot. Isn't that what we want? I've never been to a training class where they said, you know, try to make your shots as inaccurate as possible. You know, there are so many benefits to a stabilizing brace, to certain modifications that help people defend their lives in a more accurate manner. Like we, we, we all mourn when a, a good person gets injured from gunfire. Nobody wants that. So our side does everything we can in our power to make sure that doesn't happen. And we've got the government restricting us from, or attempting to restrict us from doing the best job possible with the firearms in a self-defense manner. Thirdly, and, and there, there was more, but thirdly, he said he wants the states to, he wants to empower the states to implement red flag laws. Now, I, I absolutely cannot stand red flag laws. There have been people who have lost their life due to red flag laws. That's when somebody could overhear a conversation. Somebody could have a grudge against somebody. Somebody could absolutely hate another person who owns guns, file a complaint, make up stories about what this person says, the gun owner is never informed that a charge was made against them. It goes in front of a judge and then the judge signs it. Law enforcement goes there to confiscate the guns. There is no penalty if it turns out to be completely false. The person who made the charge does not necessarily get penalized. 
It's almost as if you could just make this charge, you could make this claim against somebody, and nothing's going to happen to you. And they say, well, but, you know, due process is awarded to the gun owner. No, it's not, because they're never even informed that a charge is made against them. And the thousands of dollars they, they would spend in attorney fees to clear their name would be very intense, very painstaking, expensive, and a lot of grief over nothing in many cases. The vast majority of gun violence that we hear about is suicide. Now, I absolutely hate suicide. I don't want to see anybody perform suicide. But when I hear guns are an epidemic in this country, and it's a national embarrassment, when people are often themselves with suicide, I, I can't control that. I have nothing in my power to help prevent that. We also are listen today with him talk about you know the ban on assault rifles, voluntary buybacks, extended waiting periods, uh, magazine capacity restrictions, everything that he campaigned on, he is moving forward with. And we've got a guy here who has very little idea of or even thoughts or, or even doesn't care to understand the benefits that guns provide Americans, the safety that it provides Americans. They love it for the government officials. Oh, they love to be surrounded by people with guns, but when it comes to us peons, we don't deserve that same type of security. So here we've got a position that we have to take. I do believe that everything that he announced today will make nobody happy. I don't think it'll make the gun controllists happy. I don't think, well, I know it's not gonna make our side happy. Whenever somebody says, the actions that I do today will in no way infringe upon the Second Amendment. You know, and I know, once they deliver it, it's an infringement upon the Second Amendment. And there are gun groups like Gun Owners of America and many others that are standing ready and willing to take this on because this is just chipping away, chipping away, chipping away at the Second Amendment to reach their ultimate goal, which includes registration and confiscation. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.